I take online safety very seriously. I know my son only talks to people from school or friends that he knows. I talk to a mixture of people on the line, some that I know and some that I've never met. I know what my child is like. She's kind, caring and respectful, both online as well as offline. Sometimes I get into arguments on social media and use bad language that you wouldn't like. My child would never meet up with someone they met online. I'm thinking about doing this very soon. I've met someone called Ashley. They say they're from Wolverhampton too. As parents, we always encourage our children uh, to do their homework properly, uh, eat healthy when they get at home, and then we limit them to use internet. No, the root exercise I get is at PE, at school. I recent, I've i stared at my, my mobile phone for three or four hours, and I'm recently starting to get headaches. I have a great relationship with my daughter, and I know that she would tell me anything if something worried her online. There are lots of things I don't tell anyone. Most, most times I feel embarrassed or that I might get into trouble. My son always go to sleep in time and he never is allowed to use technology at least one hour before he sleeps. Sometimes I sneak my phone into my bedroom and use social media until it's early in the morning. We know our children respect our online safety rules. They would never do anything silly or dangerous um, just because someone else told them to. You don't understand. It's hard to say no to my friends. I don't want to be the odd one out. I only allow my daughter to play age-appropriate games. I play games that you don't know about. Some of the games are 18 plus and sometimes I play against much older people. We have technology rules in our house and nobody's allowed to have their devices with them in the bedroom. I take my devices in my bedroom sometimes without you knowing. After all, you do it too. We encourage our daughter to be proud of herself and to celebrate who she is. Why can't I look like the people online? I constantly compare myself to them and feel like I'm not good enough. My son knows to never share personal information online. I often create videos on my social media wearing my school uniform. I always check my son's device and follow him on social media to see what, with who he's talking, what he's watching and what he's saying. I have multiple accounts on social media. I only show you the ones that I want you to see. We want parents and carers to be more involved in children's online lives so they do know what they're doing and they are there to help them if they encounter problems. Remember, children have always made mistakes and hidden things from their parents. Parents and carers, sometimes you think you know what your child does online, but you may not. We aren't really like this. We are the digital ambassadors and we support children, parents and teachers to understand how to use technology safely and with respect. When this behaviour online is risky or harmful, your children need your support. Talk to your children. Ask questions. Check devices. Discuss behaviour. Encourage children to speak up. Be informed. Do your research and check age ratings. Discuss healthy and appropriate behaviour. Get involved. Get involved. Get involved. Implicate. Get involved. 
توی دایکو باکیش دتوانی بشه بی لام پروژه با اوی که چاو دیریم داره کند که کشون اینترنت بکاتیان با ویتوشی خلا نبند. تو سی بی اپنے بچیاں نی مدد کر سکتے ہیں آن لائن سے فرینڈ ہے We try very hard to work in partnership with parents and pupils This is very important especially to your parents out there to make this a better place for our children please get involved